ultimately what we were trying to do with our study is see if um, really the interactive nature of video games and being able to play as a character suffering from mental illness could spur people into holding less stigma against mental illness and specifically those who have mental illness. If we can bring someone who is suffering from mental illness into someone's own self-image um, or under their own self-umbrella, as it were, it becomes less likely for them to stigmatize. That was our hope and that was ultimately what we found to a degree. When we were thinking about choosing a game to sort of poke at the questions we were interested in, obviously we wanted uh, something that had a portrayal of someone with a, a mental health illness or a mental health problem. And we chose Hellblade because of how thoughtful it seemed like um, that portrayal was with Senua. It's just one of the best representations of mental illness that exists in video games. So it was an absolute no brainer. I don't struggle with psychosis, but being able to like embody and like get in Sinua's head for an adventure through Helheim, like, oh, okay, I can I can see a little bit of this. So this is what it might be a little like a little bit like. So I can, you know, maybe empathize with you know, other people a bit more. So anything that can engender more empathy towards more people, I think is a universally good thing. <laughs> Our two conditions were um, we would have people come in, uh, we would give them a little spiel about what they would be doing, and then they would play the game for 45 minutes, and then they would take these measures, answer these questions, uh, sort of an exit survey um, after playing the game that would measure them on all these variables that we were interested in. And the second condition was people would just come in and they would watch footage of those who had previously played the game. Two big variables that we thought would lead to um, the reduction of stigma and the reduction for desire and social distance, transportation and identification. And transportation is this idea that when you are playing a game, all your cognitive resources are so involved in, in the world of the game or the film or the book that you feel like you are actually in that world. Transportation can lead to identification, which means you know, I am thinking as Senua would think when I'm playing the game, right? I'm, I'm so immersed in the world and I'm so involved in the character that I'm transported and I'm identifying with this person and then that would then lead to uh, a reduction in stigmatization of those with mental health illnesses and a reduction for social distance with those uh, for those with um, mental health illnesses. What we found is very promising. We found that those who played the video game seemed to ultimately desire less distance from those who are mentally ill, which was good. That is a big finding, I think. I just want uh, portrayals of mental illness to be sensitive, you know, accurate. At least from the study that we've done so far, um, they can have good pro-social impact and, you know, why choose to, to do something damaging when you could do something good. Ultimately, I mean, I think what we found was promising and, and Hopefully we get to do more of it. <laughs>